Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Christine. Today I'm going to be sharing my top five favorite cream blushes. I'm going to share application, texture, I'm going to swatch it on my hands and on my face. So I'm super excited for this video. It was so hard for me to narrow it down to my top five because I'm obsessed with cream blush. Okay. Before we go ahead and dive in, I would love if you hit the subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell. I'm starting a new top five series and maybe we'll get into some skincare. We'll do like top five toners and stuff like that. I do have a video on my favorite sunscreen showing application and all of that if you haven't seen it yet. But anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. I've narrowed it down to my top five cream blushes and the number one that I probably use the most often that's pretty new to my collection is the Melt Cosmetics Cream Blush Light. I have it in the shade Sandy Cheeks and this is an absolutely stunning shade. It kind of has like a warm apricot shade and I feel like it is really flattering on olive and tan skin tones. It has a little bit more of a thinner emollient texture but it blends out super easily. I started blending it out with my fingers but then I went in with a brush. I just feel like a brush is always one of my favorite ways to apply cream blushes with because I feel like it blends it out super easily and evenly so we don't get any of that patchiness. Because of the texture, I feel like with the warmth of my fingers, it really helps it to absorb and melt into my skin. Melt, get it, get it. It's also really pigmented so you don't need a whole lot. I feel like this is gonna last me a really long time. I love the packaging of it and that it comes with a little mirror. The shade is perfect on me and it does leave my skin look really dewy and healthy looking. Next favorite, you're probably not gonna be surprised. I have the Patrick Ta Double Take Cream and Powder Blush. This is a cream and powder blush duo. I have it in the shade She's So LA. If I were to create my own blush shade, this is the shade that I would create. It makes my face look like I have a fresh tan, but like I'm a little bit blush. And I love that there's a powder included in this because I feel like the, both of these work really well together. Whenever I top any of the cream blushes I'm wearing, I actually have this powder on today. It's a gorgeous color and the cream blush especially kind of has a little bit more of a thinner texture. It's a little bit more oily as well. It has a muted apricot color that looks really good on tan skin tones, but even if you are a little bit paler, this isn't quite as warm as the Melt Cosmetics blush, so I feel like this will be flattering on almost all skin tones. When I first started using cream blushes, I would already like powder and set my face, and then I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot to apply cream blush. So whenever that happens, this cream blush actually works beautifully on top of powders. I do prefer blending this out with a brush because I find that when I do use a sponge, it does absorb too much of the product and not, I'm not left with a whole lot of color payoff. You can build it up really easily if you want it to be more of an intense color, but but since it is not super pigmented, you do have to really build it up. But that is great, especially if you're new to cream blushes and you're scared of the ultra pigmented ones. You can't mess this up. Can't go wrong with this. Next favorite of mine is these Tower 28 Beach Please Cream Blushes. And I actually have the shade here, Power Hour. This is a newer shade that Tower 28 came out with, I believe, last year. It is such a pretty kind of like deep rosy color. I feel like it's very flattering on my skin tone. This cream blush is pigmented. You do not need a whole lot to begin with. A little of this goes a really long way. I love the packaging and how minimalistic it is. Tower 28 is also clean at Sephora. It's really affordable as well. It makes my skin look really dewy and glowy and super healthy, but the only thing is I do have to set this, otherwise it won't last or it'll transfer. Once I do all that, it makes my skin look amazing, so healthy. The shade is really, really pretty. In the normal Tower 28 colors, I have the color Golden Hour, and this is one of the the original shades that they came out with. This is a gorgeous kind of like burnt orange color. It has a touch of pink in there, so it's really nice and wearable throughout all the seasons. And I just love these cream blushes. I talk about them all the time. Whenever I'm running out the door and I just want something quick and easy that I know always works, I reach for these. This is number four. I'm just flying through all of these. I have the Ilia Color Haze Multi-Use Pigment. These are so underrated. I don't hear anyone talking about these cream blushes, but this is actually a pigment that you can use on your cheeks, on your eyes, or your lips, but I use them specifically on my cheeks, and it has a, like, almost like a lip gloss 
lip balm applicator and I squeeze out a little bit of it and just tap it on my face and then I'll use a brush to blend it out. This is ultra pigmented. This is everything that I wanted the Glossier Cloud Paints to be, but this is just way more pigmented. It has more of a like grippy texture, so it stays on my face and wears such a long time. This shade is the shade Temptation. It's a little bit more pinkier. I'm not mad at this shade, but I'm just in love with the texture of this. It's very long wearing. I love that it's such a convenient little tube because I feel like it takes up no space in my makeup bag at all. It leaves my skin a little bit like almost tacky feeling, but once you set it, you're all good. I just like to powder my whole face and then maybe I'll add like a little powder blush on top, but this is so pigmented. I love it. Comes in so many shades and Ilya is also clean at Sephora as well. Last one, I can't believe we're already here. This is the Nude Sticks Matte All Over Face Color in the shade In the Nude. I love this cream blush. This shade is stunning. It's kind of like a muted, almost mauve color, but it has some rosy tones in there, but it is so Easy to use. I love that it's a stick form because I can just swipe it directly onto my face. It makes me look like I'm glowing from within. Like my skin is just naturally flush and blushing and I just feel like it's such a cute look and I love dragging the cream blush on the high points of my cheeks, almost like in my highlight area, but also across the nose as well. And I just feel like it's such a cute look. It helps to warm up the face. It lasts a really long time on the skin and it's super long wearing. Lastly, we have an honorable mention. I could not narrow it down to just five. And I feel like this one was almost kind of cheating because it's so new to my collection. M Cosmetics recently launched cream blushes and bronzers. And ever since I got this in the PR, box i've been using it ever since and this is called the so soft cream blushes this is in the shade pearl tea and it's such a gorgeous tone this is also the cream blush i'm wearing on my face today i just add such a pretty glow to my face i love this shade i feel like this cream blush also blends out so easily. I've only been using this for like a month. All the other cream blushes I've talked about, I've used many, many times. So that's the only reason why this didn't make it to the top five, but I think I'm gonna continue using it and I would not be surprised if it knocks one of the other cream blushes out because honestly, I've been loving this. That brings us to the end of this video. Those are my top five favorite cream blushes. I'll go ahead and leave them all linked down below. I recently did a brow waxes Roundup, so definitely check that out if you haven't already. But let me know what you guys want to see next if you want me to dive into a skincare series. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!